hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who are probably seeing this beautiful face on your screen for the very first time my name is not MJ. and to all of my old and returning subscribers thank you for subscribing to this channel and thank you for always engaging my content just a brief detail about me i am a registered nurse from nigeria currently practicing in the united kingdom as a senior theater practitioner and i'm also licensed to practice in the united states on this channel i get to share migration tips and career tips with registered nurses as well as lifestyle vlogs if this sounds like the kind of content that you love to get updated on make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn my notification bell on so you are the first to get notified when i have a new video i identify six reasons why nurses fail the NCLEX hiring examination that you must know and avoid without wasting much of our time let's get started From my own personal experience and also experience from other test takers as you all know i recently sat the endless rn examination i was able to come up with these six major reasons okay and i really need you to pay attention to all of them i'll also be giving you tips on how to avoid this and pass your NCLEX RN exam at one sitting either you're a first time taker or you are a repeat test taker these tips are very very key the first reason why nurses fail the NCLEX RN exam is failure to create a study plan to be very honest in my own opinion from my own experience NCLEX RN is not difficult if you do things the right way you will pass this examination like the very popular saying if you fail to plan then you plan to fail it is very crucial that you identify your strength identify your weaknesses in order to create a study plan that best suits you and you stick to this study plan till you take your test for example i told myself i needed to finish my saunders test book within a month so what i did was i know that i have to study a chapter every day if though i am a full-time worker i still make sure that even if it's just two hours or three hours in a day after i come back from work i study the sense of sticking to your study plan is that you build yourself you build your consistency and you get used to doing that thing over and over again that even when you're extremely tired you because it is a routine that you're used to you still want to study depending on your own work schedule if you are working i know this might be different slightly different for those who are not working at all you have the old day to study but if you're going to work of course you come back you're tired you're fatigued you might not get to study as much as someone that is not working at all so what i do is that every time every second every minute is crucial i use every minute i get every second i get at work to study i'm not involved in chatting or you know gossiping or wasting my time on unnecessary things if we are free at work i take my phone and i start to study so it's really key that some of your study materials you have them as pdf because it might not be so easy or so convenient for you to carry your test book to work but to be honest at the point i was going to work with my test book especially on a night shift so what you can do i got lucky i did not really intend to you know work night shift what some people do is they put themselves on permanent night shift which i think is good so you get home you rest you chill out and you know you start studying you get more time to study another benefit of working on night shift is that most night shifts are not as busy as a day shift so the time or period that you're not working you can utilize that in studying these are all crucial things that you identified at your planning stage. So planning is important 
you have to plan you must create a study plan and you must stick to it if you say it is two hours today you must study two hours that day everything that you have identified that you want to study for that day you must do it it is crucial and you must not divert from this method up until you take your test second reason i identified is lack of study materials oh my god there are lots of good materials out there trust me not only is it important to have the right study materials it's also important to know how to use these study materials because some people what you find out is that some people have lots of good study materials but if you they don't get to use it the right way if you don't use it the right way you will not get the right results that's why someone can come out and say i used your word and this 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 and i still did not pass the question is how did you use it how so it's really not just about having lots of study materials it's also important that you use them the right way i have a video on the best study materials and my study tips and strategies that i love you to look into i promise that video you'll find it very helpful two to three good solid study materials are good you're good to go but one thing that is most important out of all of them is that you need to get a test book. The third reason why nurses fail this examination is fear and lack of confidence. I've told you several times that fear will take you nowhere. For this exam, you need to stay confident. You need to stay fearless. Fear will rob you of so many things because you cannot assimilate, you cannot study in the right senses. You need to overcome your fear for this examination. You probably heard a lot of things about this exam. I want you to flush it out and know that I am telling you that this examination is not hard. You can do it. I always say if I can do it, <laughs> anybody can now not to say that i am an average student or i'm a below the average student it does not even matter if you're an average student or you were the best student in your class or you were the worst student in your class anybody that uses the right materials have got the right mindset we study for this examination and pass it so believe that building your content filling your knowledge gap sort of increases or boosts your confidence level to about 85 percent and by the time you're taking your examination your confidence level is almost 100 percent exactly where we want it so please rule out fear from your mind rule out lack of confidence be bold be confident fourth reason is lack of motivation <laughs> i recently had a chat with a registered nurse and she's like hey MJ, my CGFNS um, evaluation is going to expire soon <laughs> and I need loads and loads of motivation to take this exam because I lack it. I've been there so I get it and what I did with this one was to attach my success in this examination to a why. So ask yourself, why are you taking this examination? What does it mean to you? Why is it important to you that you pass this exam? I believe that your answer to this question will definitely motivate you. Fifth reason is inadequate preparation. You've probably watched so many NCLEX videos that they have told you how to pass NCLEX in just two weeks, how to pass NCLEX without studying at all. <laughs> My darling, you will read though you will read there's so much to read there's so much to learn so it's better you start now the moment start studying from the moment you made up your mind that you want to take this examination not the moment where your doc you're sending your documents or you're doing this or you're waiting for att mm -mm. no that is not the best period to start studying because you're going to put yourself under so much pressure when you now have a ATT. So don't wait until you have ATT. From the very minute you made up your mind that I want to take these tests, start studying for it because you have loads of materials to read. Remember I said one of the reasons people fail this examination 
is because they have lack of confidence and lack of confidence is partly due to the fact that they have not studied enough they don't know enough things they have not filled their knowledge gap they have not finished their endless curriculum they have not filled their contents okay these sort of these things also affect your confidence level so please you will read there are lots of things to read so from the very moment you've made up your mind you want to seek this examination start studying the sixth reason this one i may probably get bashed for you some people might disagree with me but this is my opinion this is what other people have said please keep your test date to yourself don't tell anyone about your test date you will be you will you it will be very funny that you'll be in the examination and what you'll be thinking about is hey i told my mom about this exam she knows i've gone to take this exam what if i don't pass how do i start to explain this is not me being pessimistic this is just me being you know original this is me being factual with you imagine if you tell about six friends that you're going to take your NCLEX rn exam and then you don't pass do you go back to these people these six people to tell them that you have not passed probably not i guess so so please keep it to yourself whereas if you don't tell anybody about it all you need to do is you will schedule another exam and take it and pass without them even knowing don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure the exam is enough pressure on its own so please don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure and keep your test date to yourself you can tell only one person maybe you're very 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 intimate person that you feel like oh i really need to tell this person maybe it's someone that you pray together you know you reason together but as much as possible please limit what you tell about your test date if possible do not tell anyone about your test date personally only my partner and my mom knew about my exam just the two of them no one else i didn't tell anybody they don't have to know okay and that sort of took off the pressure from my neck the pressure of hey if i don't pass now how do i tell my friends that i didn't pass how would they feel you know all of those things so please keep your test date to yourself come to the end of this video today i hope that you found this video useful and helpful if you did find it helpful kindly tag your friends save and share with your colleagues let them see this video too let them you know learn from this i always share new videos every week so make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn my notification bell on see you next time Thank you.